Good morning, good Lisa. Morning. Good morning, Dr. Kelsey. It's another beautiful day in the universe, and good morning to all. Welcome. Absolutely. It, it is wonderful, and we're in January, and I've had many clients contact me and saying, I'm motivated, I'm ready to improve my overall health. Where do I start? And then, really, how do these habits stick? Yeah. So, so we have all these habits that are bad habits mm -hmm. that created our problem. Yes. Uh, and how do we change and get out of the bad habit and create a new habit? Well, you can never get rid of an old habit. Yes. You can only create a new habit. And that's really the trick mm -hmm. here. So uh, how do I get rid of all these bad thoughts? Well, you can't. They're there. They're ingrained. Let's create new, upbeat, positive yeah. thoughts. And let's begin with the belief that we are already healthy. Mm -hmm. And... In our case, we're talking about fertility and I'm having a baby, yes. all right? And in that, which is the challenge, because our brain wants to go back to the fear and the worry, I begin to write it down in a journal every day. I am healthy. I am fertile. Mm -hmm. I am on the proper path in the journey every day. This is about journaling and meditation to begin the day with that. Our biggest I think culprit is food and what we put in our body and I'm like way uh, uh, to a new level of, of fiber, fruit and vegetables are actually bad for us and well, it's like that's a hard one to get and grains bad. So how do we create this new habit of putting into our bodies really good things? Well you need to begin by reading them yes. and by reading of ways to change the habit mm -hmm. is a good way. Um, the power of positive thinking, think and grow rich. Um, and, and then you got, you got to do it every day. You got to write about it every single day. And when do you start? Today. And when do you get off the path? Today. When do you get back on it? Today. And all you can do is your best today. And so you and I have these conversations with you and I about how to improve, well, you always imagine that you're already perfect and what you're doing is perfect. And through the journaling and okay, now what to, we're talking about eggs, bacon, butter, and beef is our new way of eating. And I'm convinced that the essential amino acids and fatty acids are probably all we need. And that's a challenge to believe. Yes. And again, we come back to we're having this conversation every day. And we're talking about it and reading. And I'm really into Automobile University, I call it. So audible.com. And I download a book. I listen to Good Calories, Bad Calories. Yes. I listen to um, uh, Jimmy Moore's uh, Keto Clarity mm -hmm. and Cholesterol Clarity and understanding our ideas that we've been talking about for so long about what's healthy turns out to be harmful. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Steve and I have been talking about antigens yes. and the immune system. And somehow everything is antigenic. Mm -hmm. The key is to put into our bodies those things that are the most positive antigenic. Maybe yes. that's it. What's going to boost our immune system. Absolutely. And, and so the habit begins with the conversation, mm -hmm. with the thoughts, with the writing it down every day, journaling. And... It's just constant work in progress. Yes. And you have to imagine that this is fun and easy. It's a challenge. Mm -hmm. Hard is natural. Yes. And fear and worry is natural. Begin by having the conversation, talking to your partner, a friend, a support group. And Absolutely. we have support group and on, on CNY Fertility and our CNY Fertility support group, yes. we're all learning. We've uh, 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 brought in Maria Emmerich, uh, who has written a lot of great books, mm -hmm. Ketogenic Diet, and I really love her style, her ideas, and her way. Mm -hmm. And so by reading, and if you pick up the book, it's great. I'd like to write in books and underlying mm -hmm. ideas and thoughts. And you can't go back. You can only move forward, but you're actually participating in what you have right now. And uh, the way to relinquish an old habit is create a new habit. And the new habit begins only today. And then tomorrow becomes today. And the next day becomes today. So every day is somehow just a new day. Absolutely. 
Well, in the new year, everyone talks about resolutions, and I like to say we evolve. We improve on what we are already, and we add something in. And so for clients who like to have a bit of satisfaction, journaling is a great idea. Writing down the days of the month, 1 through 31, put one small goal for that day, one extra glass of water, one extra helping of fat, and then cross it off at the end of the day so you can see your progress that you're making, and you get that satisfaction of writing something off in the visible acknowledgement of the success that you've had and we always stray off the path and that's just an opportunity to practice coming back in and 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 technically there's no straying off the path mm -hmm. because because it's all part of your path mm -hmm. and so the, the the challenge is to give goodness to all of it yes. and believe that the health that you desire is already there yes. and so you're not working towards something you actually have that which you desire and hold it in the dream yes. And that's our challenge because we're reality beings mm -hmm. and we want to think that you got to believe in reality. You have to understand the, the hard things and that it's, it's, we've got an illness. Mm -hmm. and, and, but the, the dream is really the place mm -hmm. to be. And I take a nice journal and, and, and these moleskin journals mm -hmm. are great wherever you get it. Even if you just get a stack, I love to get a stack of, of white paper yes. and put the dates and just start with the dates and the days of the week Absolutely. and then every day you just start writing and I always say just start by writing another awesome and amazing day and thank you God for this day yes All right and if you've got problems you should rejoice in them because it's just part of the path mm -hmm. in the fertile path I mean this is my mission is to help you on this fertile journey and talking a lot about ketogenic mm -hmm. food plan and really when you focus on what you can eat and you get into the cupboards and you get the trash can and you just gather mm -hmm. all the pasta and the grains and the cereal and the rice and get rid of the yogurt and get rid of the fruits and vegetables believe it mm -hmm. or not and I'm really amazed by the concept that really what our body needs is the premium fuel is called saturated fat, mm -hmm. beef, butter, cream, pork. Mm -hmm. And and there are some ideas for the vegetarians that we really want to begin to bring them in and and between butter and 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 um, and and full full whipping cream and then ghee and coconut oil, these are a start. But by eating more fruits and vegetables and fiber, we're actually causing a tremendous amount of inflammation yes. that causes the antigens to mess us up. And that actually may be part of the challenge and the problem. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we so appreciate all of your thoughts on these changes. And I know our clients are working towards them. If you want to find a community, you can contact me and I can add you to our Facebook support group where other women are journey, journaling and starting on this journey to a new and healthy way of viewing themselves and really embracing the health that they already have and working to these wonderful diet changes and encouraging each other. Um, so that Facebook support group is available. Of course, if you are facing other challenges such as smoking, um, really starting to be more kind to yourself, working on stress and anxiety, there are other forums out there that I'm able to help you find as well. Believing in the opposite yes. of what you are worried about is our biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate through CMI Fertility, Absolutely. the Healing Arts. And, and uh, I give out my cell, 315-416-9872. Mm -hmm. Please feel free to text me. And we're talking to people around the world through Absolutely. Skype, through FaceTime, and, and I'm getting all these texts back that says keto babies. Mm -hmm. And people are going ketogenic, ketogenic. And as I learn about the ketone bodies and how valuable they are as energy yes. for our brains and our reproductive system and our gastrointestinal system mm -hmm. and eliminate all that, that, um, that fiery, fibery yes. uh, compost stuff, it's quite amazing. But Yeah, we, I just got the most beautiful picture yesterday, a woman who's going to be sharing her story on our website um, after years of trying to conceive, she started the keto diet at your suggestion, 
lost 100 pounds and is 22 weeks pregnant and, now. And, and she's just, it's my beautiful keto baby. <laughs> and it's amazing because we, we, we're afraid of fat. But fat, yes. even when you're carrying the fat, mm -hmm. it's actually premium fuel yeah. that your mitochondria are just starving for. Mm -hmm. It's really a mitochondrial problem. Yes. Mitochondria are being screwed mm -hmm. uh, and damaged because of the high carbohydrate. Yeah. And remember, sugar, carbs are fruits, vegetable, fiber, grains, cereal, rice, pasta, mm -hmm. milk. It's crazy. And and so I'm really seeing the more natural approach mm -hmm. to fertility, even at 40 and 45, I'm amazed. Yes. And I just want to add one other thing about diagnostic laparoscopy. Yes. Fertility and sterility just came out with an article that suggests that laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, is absolutely beneficial. And we've been talking about this, and I've been doing it for a number of years, mm -hmm. that when all else is like, it's an unknown cause, we call it idiopathic, and I've always said, well, we must be idiots. Mm -hmm. It's the immune system, it's inflammation, and it may be endometriosis. Mm -hmm. And I've seen so many people where we've done a laparoscopy and a hysteroscopy, we've found endo adhesions, mm -hmm. we've cleared them up, and then they're pregnant. Yeah. And so the laparoscopy is invasive, but so is having a baby, yes. and if what you're doing isn't getting you there, think about what else can I do? Ask your doctor the question. Mm -hmm. And so many of us fertility specialists have been trained not to do laparoscopies. It's not valuable, but I, I believe that there's a lot of value to Absolutely. one, our food, number one, fat, fatty, fertile foods first, mm -hmm. and then think about, okay, let's cover all of our bases in a way uh, and... and uh, ask the questions. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. I know our clients and our future clients appreciate it. And I hope that we receive many more comments and questions about topics that we can cover and any ways that we can support any of you. Um, please don't hesitate to contact us. Awesome. And God bless. Enjoy the day. Thanks. Have a great week.